Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. As you already saw, Brackies quit YouTube. And this came as a shock to everyone, especially given the fact that they just reached 1 million subscribers like, I don't know, a few months ago. And back in the day when I started to learn how to code and make games, Brackies was one of the channels that I learned something from. So you guys can partially tank Brackies because awesome toots exist. And that's why it makes me really sad that he is quitting. I personally watched that goodbye video like a few times and I left three comments and I rarely comment anywhere on YouTube. Now, I know somebody will say, well, technically they say just maybe, just maybe they will put some videos out in the future. Well, yes, but even if that happens, it will not happen anytime soon. Because the way that they created the goodbye video, you can see that that's not something that came out of the blue. It's not like, you know, they woke up one more, oh, we should quit YouTube. No, it's something that they thought about for a long time and they decided to do it. And also in the Q&A, that Brackies held in their Discord like a few days ago. You can see from the answers that they are like tired from the YouTube community, not the YouTube community, but the YouTube thing. When I say this, I mean creating videos, putting them out there. They want a challenge because that became a routine to them. So they want to do something else. They want to challenge themselves. Hey guys, and sorry for interrupting this video, but I've noticed that 80% of you who watch my videos on a regular basis are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button to get notified every time I publish a new video so that you can, well, watch it right away. Now, I also seen people commenting that they quit because of the money issues. As I just mentioned, they quit because they want to challenge themselves and they want to learn new things and, you know, explore other possibilities. But also, if you just take a look at Bracky's channel, you can see that he was averaging like three to four million views per month. And that's roughly like five to 15K per month in earnings. I know that because I'm, you know, generating a lot less views than they are and I'm earning a nice amount of money and given or calculating, taking that into consideration, I can say they are earning from 5K to 15K. Plus they had sponsors and there was a couple of thousand of dollars, I believe 4.5K dollars per sponsored ad. I, I'm not sure, but I, th I believe it was something like that. Of course, they had a team of six or seven people and when you split all that cash among those people, it might not be a lot of money. But, you know, Brackies could have laid off all those, all those people if, if he needed money because, you know, if you take a look at the videos that they were creating, they didn't need a team of seven people to create the videos like that. There were nothing special in terms of special effects and so on. So just, you know, a regular video as Bjorn or however his name is pronounced was sitting in front of the camera talking a little bit. Then the camera switched over to his desktop and basically a single person can create those videos. So I don't think the money issue, the money was the issue because he could have laid off all those people and, you know, started earning good money. But anyways, now with Bracky's departure, does that mean that game development on YouTube is over? Of course not. A lot of good content creators will continue creating awesome and amazing videos and they will put them out on YouTube, me included. Which brings me to something really sad that I want to talk about. How can I say this? It's like, I feel the game development community is really closed. And when I say this, I don't mean you guys. I don't mean the community watching the videos. You guys are amazing. But I mean the community of game developers creating the videos, the content creators. It's like they just want to collaborate with certain types of people and they don't want to hear about anybody else. Of course, this is all a preference from person to person. But, you know, given the fact that every single tutorial that every single creator is talking about that they are creating these tutorials for the benefit of the community so that they can make game development more accessible so that you guys can learn more. If that is the case, then why is it a problem that you and I, so potentially you, a content creator watching this video, you and I collaborate with each other or you and some other content creator, but they just choose a few of these and they collaborate with one or two and that is over. Now, what's make, what makes this even more sad is the fact that as soon as a content creator needs help from another one, they will contact them and ask for help for this or that, but when they don't need them, they will just, you know, throw them away. And I know there are people out there who I have contacted when I had 50k, 40k subscribers that they even, didn't even reply to my email. And I know they will want to co collaborate with me when I have 
you know, when I reach 100k subscribers or 200k subscribers, I know that will be the case and they will say, well, you know how it goes. So it's like, you know, I will collaborate with a person who has a lot of cloud, who has a lot of, you know, eyeballs on his channel so that we can grow, but I will not collaborate with a smaller one because, you know, I cannot benefit from it. And this is really sad because if you're asked, if you're saying that you are doing this for the community and then you, you know, have, have these thoughts, you think like this, then you need to ask yourself, you're not doing it for the community, you're doing it for your own reasons. And that reason is money in most cases. And I know some people will say, yeah, but you sell online courses and you earn money from that. Yeah, of course, but I also put out a lot of content for free that is amazing. I try to make my free content better than what you pay other people for. And I challenge all other creators to prove me wrong because my content is is top notch. I'm not saying other content is bad, but I'm saying that my content is really amazing. Who else on this platform has put out an eight hour long video showing you how to create the first person shooter survival game? I said I'm I'm challenging any content creator to prove me wrong with that. Just you know, put out a video of your own and and put it for the community to benefit. So why not share these videos with your audience because they can benefit from that? Why not share? Because a lot of things can be learned from that video. Now, that being said, I'm not going to ramble about this anymore. I just had this on my mind and, and it's, you know, it's sad that it's like that. We should all collaborate with each other. We should, you know, create videos together, have fun together, create games together, share that content with our audiences so that we can grow together. And the audience is the one who will benefit at the end. So that's why I'm calling all content creators who watch this video or, or somebody that you knew or no, just, you know, show them this video and I will put my email in the description of this video. They can contact me, they can, you know, we can collaborate with each other. Just leave a comment and I will contact you so that we can, you know, collaborate with each other, with each other and create videos to support the amazing community that is supporting us. Anyways, that was on my mind that I just had to, you know, had to get out there. And I also want to mention a few channels that are less mentioned in the game development community. Jason Weiman did a video where he mentioned a few of creators that he likes and people started adding the creators that they like that Jason didn't mention. Because we all know the famous creators like Thomas Brush, Saiku, Blackthorn Prod, so on and so forth. But you know, there's also Game Plus, Games Plus James who creates amazing content. There's also Charger Games. Raja is really amazing. He creates awesome games, awesome tutorials. You should check him out definitely. There is also Inscope Studios. Kenneth is his name and he creates amazing content. There's also Jimmy Vegas. Even though he has more than 100K subscribers, his videos are not getting the attention that they deserve. He's putting out Grand Theft Auto game, how to create a Grand Theft Auto for Christ's sake. So just go and watch that. So there's also Game Dev Underground. He's he's underrated as it gets, man. He he puts out amazing advice for indie game developers, yet he doesn't get the attention that he deserves. So go make sure check those people out. Make sure you give them their lo your love, subscribe to them, and so on and so forth. Anyways, you can expect a lot of amazing content from me in the upcoming weeks. I will try to put out Amazing Unity tutorials as always, starting next week. I will try to do that because I'm creating my commercial game. It's close to publishing, so I'm not sure if I can make it next week, if not the week after that, but you will for sure get some amazing and quality content. Anyways, I don't have anything else to say. So as Brackies used to say it, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.